A very good morning and welcome to this edition of Yes 101 Visual Radio for the News First Team. I'm Kinza Farooq. I'm Sharanya Bevikrama. We start off with a look at your headlines. News First Headline. Sri Lanka and India to jointly develop Jaffna International Airport. CEB to submit new electricity tariff proposal to the PUCSL in the coming week. Showers and thunder showers expected in various parts of the island. Public urge to act with caution. In your news overseas, full-blown famine in North Gaza. World Food Chief warns in sports, Man City, Arsenal both win in neck and neck pri- Premier League title race. Taking a look at your top story for this morning, the Ministry of Port Shipping and Aviation Services says that Sri Lanka and India will jointly develop the Jaffna International Airport. Its secretary, KDS Ruan Chandra, said that the expressions of interest have been called for this development project. But due to the fact that only one EOI was submitted, a decision was made to enter into a joint venture with India. Meanwhile, Indigo Airlines has planned to commence flight operations from Jaffna International Airport starting next July. Currently, only Alliance Air is conducting flight operations from the Jaffna Airport. Alliance Air operates one daily flight between Colombo and Chennai. The new airline is also scheduled to operate flights between Sri Lanka and Chennai. More of your local news, the Ministry of Power and Energy says that the Ceylon Electricity Board is currently preparing the proposals with regards to electricity tariffs. Its Secretary Sulakshan Rajavadana said that the final proposal will be handed over to the Public Utilities Commission in the coming week. The proposal upon submission to the PUCSL must receive its approval. Sulakshan Jayavadana further mentioned that there are plans to re- revise the electricity tariffs from next June. In your weather news uh, for this morning, showers or thunder showers may occur at a few places in western and Saburgamu provinces and in the Gaul and Mathura districts in the evening or night. Misty conditions can be expected at some places in the central and Saburgamu provinces during the morning. General public is kindly requested to take adequate precautions to minimize damages caused by temporary localized strong winds and lightning during thunder showers. International news. In your international news, the chief of the United Nations Food Program has warned of a full-blown famine in northern Gaza and reiterated calls for a ceasefire in Israel's war against Hamas. Cindy McCain, executive director of the Food Program, said there is a famine, full-blown famine in the north, and it's moving way towards the south. Sports News. And finally, in your sports news, Manchester City remained on course for a fourth successive Premier League title with a ruthless 5-1 win over Wolverhampton Wanderers hours after Arsenal's 3-0 win over Bournemouth kept them provi- provisionally top of the standings. Erling Haaland struck four times as Pep Guardiola's team pulled to within a point of Arsenal with a game in hand. That's all the news we have for you for this edition of Yes 101 with your radio for the news for Steam. I'm Kinza Farooq. I'm Sharana Bevikrama. Thank you Thank for you watching. Thank you for watching.